Weather Rate Certified, San Diego's most accurate forecast. This is 10 News Pinpoint Weather, sponsored by Mozzie Heating Air Solar. Can't believe we're talking about it again, but fire danger. Yes, in December. In December. Yep, Santa Ana winds actually are peak during December, but the problem we're having this time is because we've had no significant rainfall. Mm, so that's yeah. what's different than what we're normally dealing with this time of the year. But let's take a minute to appreciate the sunset right now outside in downtown San Diego. Looks pretty nice, 62 degrees. Humidity at 72%. Winds come from the south southwest on the coast, but very different for other parts of the county. Dropping down tonight to 51 degrees on the coast, 48 for our inland valleys with those Santa Ana winds up to 25 miles per hour for our inland valleys, up to 20 miles per hour for our mountains, dropping down to a chilly 39 degrees tonight and 44 for our deserts. Tomorrow, plenty of sunshine around the county, a high of 71 degrees on the coast under mostly sunny skies. 71 also for our inland valleys with those gusty winds, 49 for our mountains and 68 degrees for our desert. So we have that red flag warning already in place, taking us through Thursday evening. Those winds coming from the east northeast, 20 to 30 miles per hour for our sustained winds. We could see gusts up to 55 miles per hour humidity down to the single digits. Also dealing with a high wind warning for our valleys and our mountains through Thursday evening. Gusts up to 65 miles per hour. Some isolated areas could see gusts 65 to 80 miles per hour by the time we're done with this week. Our wind gust future cast, we're going to see gusts peaking by 1 a.m. 36 mile per hour gusts in Campo, 17 in Alpine, 25 in Ramona, 15 in Escondido. If you do have any holiday decorations or patio furniture outside, you may want to secure those because those gusts will continue to go up as we head further into the evening and then even 12 hours from that by 1 p.m. tomorrow, still dealing with gusts at 30 miles per hour in Campo. 29 miles per hour in Ramona, so certainly going to be very windy for the rest of the week. Our yearly rainfall also an issue because we have not had any significant rainfall. We're so dry and that's why we're going to see that increase in fire danger. Your 10 news pinpoint 70 forecast 71 on the coast tomorrow will be near 80 by Saturday. Those onshore offshore flow winds will take us all the way through the weekend. So even after the red flag warning expires, we're still going to be dealing with gusty winds. 71 degrees tomorrow and windy for our inland valleys. Your overnight lows through the week are in the upper 40s and 50s. Mountains and deserts. Mountains likely going to see some of the windiest spots that we will see as we head further into the week. So we'll be tracking that all week long. Going to be a tough week. Tough week for sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jen.